الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ إلى صبيل ربك بالحكمة والمعذة الحسنة وجاد ملة أحسن ربي شلي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني أفكا وكولي I welcome all the viewers of the Peach TV Network Peach TV English the Peach TV Urdu the Peach TV Bangla and the PSTV Chinese, as well as my social media platforms, which are the Facebook, the YouTube, the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Alida platform. I welcome all the viewers with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. And I welcome you to this program. Ask Dr. Zakir. Season 8, Session 2. Here you are most welcome to ask any questions on Islam and comparative religion or any question which a non-Muslim may have posed and you, were unable to, and you were unable to answer. Or any question that you found in the media which is attacking Islam. This is your opportunity. You can ask your question on any of the four social media platforms. But the best would be to ask as a subscriber on Al Hidayah. And the second best would be to ask as a text message on the WhatsApp. You can text your question in brief, mentioning your name, your profession, your city and country of origin to the WhatsApp number plus six zero double one two one double three double three six zero. I repeat, plus six zero double one two one double three double three six zero and inshallah now we'll take the first question the first question on the whatsapp is assalamu alaikum sir wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I am Fatima. I am from Bangladesh. My non-Muslim classmate told me he reads the Quran from different online apps. He showed me two apps, wherein one app, the first verse of Surah Fatiha is Bismillah Rahman Rahim. The other app had first verse as Alhamdulillah Bil Alameen. Actually tried to show that the Quran also had difference. What should I reply? As far as the glorious Quran is concerned, which is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was revealed to the last and final message, to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed this zikr, the glorious Quran, and we shall guide from corruption. So this Quran, Alhamdulillah, it is without any errors and alhamdulillah i have given the answer in detail that any quran you pick up alhamdulillah it is the same it is verbatim word to word if you check the complete quran is the same but what you have to realize that the quran is a revelation from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the quran was revealed it was not revealed the way I quote. You know, when I quote something, I say, Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125, Udu ila The Quran was revealed directly from the start, and there was no verse number mentioned or the surah number mentioned. This numbering of the verses has been given later on. The Quran was revealed to our beloved Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad related to the Sahabas, and before. He died, mashallah, he supervised it himself, and the Quran was, mashallah, complete in perfect order from start to the finish. But there was no numbering given. The numbering of the verses were given later on. So, whatever differences there in the numbering, that's a human work. That's not part of the Quran. 
द नंबर वन इन फ्रंट ऑफ बिस्मिल्ल रन रहीम और बिफोर अलहमदिल्ला रबीन इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द कुरान दैट इज फॉर अस वेन वी गिव रेफरेंस फॉर अस टू मेक इट ईजी फॉर अस टू नो वे वी लेफ्ट बट द कुरान डजेंट हैव एनी नंबर इन द ओरिजिनल कुरान दिस इज फॉर अस टू मेक इट ईजी for us to recite where we have left etc when i'm quoting that's it so there is no difference in the original quran now as far as the numbering is given there are few different methods of numbering one method of numbering when it gives the numbering from the start of the quran the first chapter surah fatiha though it was not chapter 1 mentioned it just started so in one type of numbering they give bismillah ar rahman ar rahim as number 1 and in the other method of numbering it starts with alhamdulillah rabbil alamin as the first verse and they say bismillah is not part of surah fatiha whereas the other method of numbering they say bismillah is part of surah fatiha but the point to be noted is that in both the methods of numbering of surah fatiha both have seven verses those who start with bismillah ar rahman ar rahim as the first verse the last verse starts with sirat al mustaqim idhin al sirat al mustaqim sirat al ladin anamta alaihim from sirat al ladin anamta alaihim is the seventh verse and those who say that bismillah is not part of surah fatiha they start with Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin the first verse but the seventh verse they divide into two verses so alhamdulillah in both the methods the total verses in surah fatiha is seven because allah says in the quran in surah hijr chapter number 15 verse number 87 the oft repeated seven verses referring to surah fatiha so alhamdulillah in both the methodology the total number of verses in surah fatiha is seven now coming to your question what should you reply to your friend you should tell your friend that the quran originally did not contain numbering this is a human handiwork so this difference is because in the methodology of numbering it is not difference in the quran the quran is verbatim the same every word is exactly the same but when it was revealed it was revealed without the fatha the makasra or without the vowels they were added later on so this many of the people don't know that's the reason there are some of my fans who tell me dr zakir we checked up alhamdulillah all your quotations were perfect but one quotation you made a mistake and some of them they say you know you quoted the verse of the quran in which alcohol is forbidden it is not surah maida chapter 5 verse number 90 it is surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 93 i mean i am a human being i can make a mistake i am not saying i can't make a mistake but this mistake that they point out is not my mistake i am following a method which is the most common what they are referring to is a method which is not the most common and if you read the original translation of abdul aisuf ali abdul aisuf ali used the method of numbering which had the verse in which alcohol is prohibited surah maida chapter 5 verse number 93 it says ya you ladina amanu o you believe in the mal khamru wal maysuru most certainly intoxication and gambling wal zawal islamu dedication of stone divination of arrows rishtu min amli shaitan these are certain hani work first ani bulul kum tuflihun abstain from the hani work that may prosper so when i am quoting the arabic is part of the quran the chapter 5 verse number 93 or verse number 90 is not part of the quran but if you read the revised edition of abdul asifli they have followed the method which is the most common and in that it is surah maida chapter 5 verse number 90 so whenever you hear any speaker giving any reference and you don't find it what you have to do is you have to see two or three verses before afterwards that's it if it doesn't match then you can say that the quotation is wrong but a person may quote a methodology of numbering which may not be very common there are about two or three different methods of giving numbering to the verses of the quran and as far as my knowledge goes the difference is sometimes one verse two verse three verse i don't think so there is a difference for more than four verses anywhere so if you really want to check if you are following a methodology which is not the most common which i follow then there may be a difference of one or two verses if 
after checking two or three verses or four verses before or after if you don't find the verse then you can assume that there is a misreference this is just for information as far as giving a reply to a friend is concerned we should say that is not part of the quran that's the human handiwork and each one has done according to his methodology but the quran alhamdulillah is the same unlike other religious scriptures this quran is verbatim any quran you pick up alhamdulillah it is exactly word to word the same hope that answers the question